so first of all, let me just say that this will probably be the last video that I do in any kind of uh, blood clot update. Okay, so today's a, an important day for me and a day that I've been looking forward to. Uh, this is now another three-month follow-up to check the condition of this blood clot. So we're looking at a total of six months. If you consider the three-month period on the previous one, and this is three months, so six months. Altogether, you've probably got about seven to eight months of monitoring uh, this blood clot condition. And as you recall from previous video, there was no improvement whatsoever on the three month visit. So, um, and I, I went in with some high hopes and ultimately walked out of my appointment severely disappointed because there was just no improvement whatsoever. It's still, you know, um, a major blood clot. So today is that follow up. Um, I'm being careful not to set myself up for disappointment again. But at the same time, I'm trying to be hopeful, you know, that there's improvement because this decision is, or this visit is going to impact a lot of decisions that I make going forward. So um, whether that includes looking at surgically removing this, even though it's not recommended for my type of blood clot, uh, the condition and location, uh, but it's probably going to uh, impact that decision. Uh, other decisions that I'm thinking about as far as my physical activities and what I'm actually capable of doing, allowed to do. Uh, so there's a lot riding on this visit today. Uh, so I will say that uh, I'm still going to have high hopes that there's improvement, but not set myself up for that big disappointment that I went through the last time because I was uh, highly uh, dejected, almost even de depressed uh, over the whole thing. So the last month, three months have been uh, a big physical and mental roller coaster of dealing with this blood clot, you know, on a on a physical basis, you know, you can still feel things, things aren't right, you know, it, it it I can tell that when I'm pushing myself too much because then I get swelling and so forth. And then the mental aspect of it is that I know that it's still there, I can physically feel it and it just you have that I have that constant thing in my head that I, I want this thing removed. So um so yeah, today's the visit, so I guess we'll, uh, we're will we going to head out right now, and um, <clears throat> I'm not going to do any filming in the doctor's office this time, because um, I think we all know what that's like. They just put the wand on and do an ultrasound from the ankle all the way up to beyond, just beyond my groin, the crease of my hip. Uh, so, let's go see what's going on. Three hours later. Okay, we're back, and... Uh, I didn't do this video again the way I would normally do, which is do a little bit of recording of in the doctor's office while the ultrasound is happening and uh, do a quick recap in my truck of the visit while things are fresh in my head. Um, so again, a little bit of time has gone by since the visit and I'm here, you know, trying to collect my thoughts on how do I recap uh, this visit. Now, I know I said I would go into this visit and, you know, I'm going to have hopes, right? Because you got to remain positive. You got to feel like uh, some sense of that there's going to be improvement that you're doing everything you can to help improve the conditions of, of this blood clot, even though it's really up to your body. There's no medications that go in and rotor rooter the thing out. It just doesn't work that way. And uh, to answer this question for those that have 
asked me and put it in front of me. Yes, I have asked the question about whether you can remove this. And, and in my condition, the location, my understanding is, is the recommendations that it's not ideal for me. I'm not an ideal candidate based on the conditions and the location of it. And especially now with this new news. Um, so after another three month space of time and visit, there is zero improvement on the condition of the, the blood clot. Uh, again, they can't even give me a hint of an indication that there's improvement. So overall, the numbers that I read once before off of one of the charts about 95% occluded in the upper and 50% occluded in mid to something. And it's, it's again, it's just, it's a major blockage in the uh, femoral uh, artery uh, or vein. I can't remember. Whichever one is the one that returns. I'm getting them mixed up for some reason now. But uh, it's a major blockage in the return, the vein that returns all the blood. So, so as I've said before in other videos and live streams, I can send blood down. My issue is blood has a difficult time coming back. Now, my, according to my doctor, there are other veins that are compensating and opening up and allowing me to do the things that I'm doing. But, you know, I've got to keep in mind that I'm also not going out. I'm not, my mind is not geared on bike racing anymore. I'm no longer, I can't even think of the last time I did zone three well actually i can because while i'm trying to make sure i'm just staying zone one zone two just enjoy cycling um you know there have been a couple of times where i jump on the trainer uh on zwift and did a 45 minute zone one two ish and you know did a, like a 30 second at like five six hundred watts you know stuff that's not really going to highly stress um you know and send too much flow down and cause problems with this blood clot in my leg so in any case, uh, I'm not going to do any more updates on this. Um, there is the potential that there could be no improvement going forward. Um, in fact, the doctor this time, instead of spacing the visit out three months, we're going to six months now. Um, you know, when this whole thing started back in December of last year, you know, the visits were a week apart, then it went two weeks, then it went a month, then it went to three months, so there were two visits at three months, and so now we're at a three-month period just to see what it can do. Um, so my orders are pretty much still the same, which is, you know, don't uh, take this as how is it limit limiting me, but let's figure out what my limits are. So so I'm going to continue to keep moving. Um, you know, I don't think I'm going to be running or anything like that. I don't, again, I don't think I'm going to be back to bike racing. Uh, but I am going to be willing, I am willing to get out there and push it a little bit, you know. Um, I'm probably still going to enjoy e-bike rides because uh, at this point in time, I, I do know and sense when I've kind of reached a limit and I need that aid from the e-bike to kind of like help get me home or just kind of give me a little bit of a break. You know, that's all just reality right now. And so I've got to go forward plan. Uh, my spirits are still high. I made sure not to go in and, and allow myself to, to be set up for severe disappointment because this visit had every potential to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm upset, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would like for things to improve, but um, it's just not there. So I have go forward plans. I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm still gonna pursue some of these uh, multi-day, long distance solar e-bike tours. I'm planning a couple of local ones here just to kind of test out the the gear that I ordered to build my solar trailer so that I can keep my e-bikes charged for so I can do these extended multi-day rides and I don't know that I'll get it in before the end of the year but I'm still planning on doing a 
e-bike ride from Albuquerque to Las Vegas, Nevada, and we'll, we'll see if we get that done. So again, um, that's, <laughs> that's the news. Uh, no improvement, but you know, hey, I'm, I'm positive and we will press on, we'll move forward, we'll figure this thing out and uh, continue to make my body figure out how to adjust to this, um, to this condition and how we move forward. So that's it. Last video on blood clot. Not going to do another one on blood clot, even if six months from now there's improvement or whatever. I'm, I'm done talking about the blood clot. It's, it's there. I live with it. It's just part of who I am now. We'll see you all.